Kumusta kayong lahat? Welcome sa Math Storya. Samahan niyo ako in solving this math problem. So solve the value of x and write the theorem being used. So this given is an example of triangle proportionality theorem. Because there is a line parallel to one side of a triangle then intersects the two sides of a triangle, then that line divides these two sides proportionally. So since proportionally, so we can solve this one using the ratio and proportion. So on this side, we can write this one as 10 over 5, then equals, so this uh, 8 over x, then to solve for x, so using cross multiplication, so we have 10 times x, this one is 10x, then equals 5 times 8, this one is 40. Then to solve for x, divide both sides by 10. So x now is equal to 40 divided by 10, that's 4. So x is equal to 4. Then for this given, so this given is an example of transversal proportionality theorem because three or more parallel lines are cut by two transversal lines. So these are the two transversal lines. Then they divide the transversal proportionally. So again, since proportionally, so we can solve this one using the ratio and proportion. So on this side, so that's 16 over 8, then equals for this side, that's 6 over x. Then cross multiplication, so this 16 times x, this one is 16x, then equals 8 times 6, that's 48. Then divide both sides by 16 to solve for x. So x now is equal to 48 divided by 16. This one is 3. So x is equal to 3. Then for this given, so this given is an example of triangle angle bisector theorem. Because an angle bisector of an angle of a triangle, so this is the angle bisector of this angle in a triangle, the opposite side in two segments that are proportional to the other two sides of a triangle. So again, proportional, so using the ratio and proportion. So on this side, we can rewrite this one as 15 over 3. That's equal to x over 6. Then to solve for x, so cross multiplication, so 3 times x, this one is 3x equals 15 times 6, so this one is uh, 90. Then divide by 3 to solve for x, divide by 3. So x now is equal to, so 90 divided by 3, that's 30. So x is equal to 30.